Jairus on the road. Right, so I had this big plan to hop in a van and do some riding around Colorado, you know, get it out into nature. And one thing that's really apparent to me uh, is that I overdo it too often. It's kind of like a lesson that I've learned a bunch of times already. Um, my whole face is like peeling. I've got blisters on my lips. Basically, I was feeling pretty burnt out. Jairus has been full on, you know. It's like, you know, you guys have seen it and you've heard me say it's like seven days a week. Another job, children, um, you know, girlfriend, a, a lot of commitments. Um, and I want to do all those things well. It's feeling extremely burnt out. And then uh, the flight over from Minneapolis to Minneapolis was, you know, I didn't want to spend so much money. So I, three flights. Um, and it's been a bit of a comedy of errors. So I got over here and I was already feeling a bit buggered, but I was like, I, I just kind of like got real burnt out um, those first few nights in Minneapolis. It started to come good. And then... Uh, wanted to recharge my batteries by getting out in nature and yeah fucking overdid it I uh, did 26 K 20 23 K's or something on the first day us in in Colorado um, all above like two two and a half thousand meters um, uh, above sea level and out in the snow um, and yeah, I got lost, <laughs> which is cool. Like, I get lost when I'm out in the wilderness all the time. But, um, yeah, I'd forgotten to put sunscreen on. And uh, and I was also doing it all shirtless because, you know, why not? And, um, yeah, the elements got me a little bit. I, I got really burnt. I wasn't too tired, but I hadn't been sleeping a whole lot. It's kind of hard to sleep in the van. Um and yeah so i woke up the next day after that and i thought i'll do a recovery run so i went to this uh 14er which is four and a half thousand meters above sea level it's supposed to be one of the easier ones i went there in the afternoon because the place i wanted to go to which was four 14ers um, that you could like run up and down that got blocked off it got snowed snowed in so i drove all the way back to this place quandary and it's supposed to be one of the easier 14ers, 14,000 feet. Uh, and as I was getting ready, a guy was like, are you trying to go up there now? And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, it's pretty hard. Like, I'm a, I'm a skier. Like, I got my my snowshoes. So, And the, the sun's been coming down, so the snow is it's pretty hard going. But yeah, yeah, you should be all right. You, you look fit. And I was like, yeah, cool. And I started going up, and it was snowy as fuck. I thought everything was going to be, <laughs> I thought everything was going to be dry. Um, so I start going up this, uh, this trail and very quickly it turns to snow and not just snow, but you would, every time you would step, it would go either like, you know, at best to your shin, at worst up to your thigh. You can imagine a really high above sea level, like going up shit like this um after the day i had previous and not much sleep really not much sleep i i started started going up and as people were coming down they're like oh, are you trying to go up and i was like yeah i'm trying to get to the top and they're like oh it's really really fucked like when we're going up it wasn't too bad but coming back down all the snow's melting and it's just all like it's just falling and i was like ah be right be cool so i started going up and and I noticed that like there was sections that were rocky and I was like, fuck, I'll just take my own I'll just take my own way. So instead of going up through the snow, following everyone's tracks, I started like going like snaking this way, like running up some rocks, jumping over rocks and pretty cool idea I thought. Um the last person I was the last person on the mountain by far. Like everyone had passed me going back down and they're all like, What the fuck are you doing? And it started to get colder. 
um, started to get towards the night, and I was like, fucking, how big is this thing? And just sinking into snow every fucking time. And I, uh, I got really, really fucking high up. So I found out later. So I was, uh, I was, I was at fourteen thousand feet. Um, I didn't get to the summit as I was pulling my phone out because I was expecting I was about to get there. I realised I'd dropped my phone somewhere on this fucking mountain as it's getting dark, and I was like, "Fuck!" and I was really <clears throat> feeling quite sick. Um, uh, as well, the altitude was starting to get to me, and I used that as my out. To be honest, I fucking sat there and thought to myself, "You bitch," um, but probably a really wise thing in the end. Uh, but then I had a big problem. I had to try and find my phone, and I had because I hadn't taken the path. I'd gone my own way and jumped on rocks. I hadn't left footprints, so I was like going all over this fucking mountain trying to find my phone, like, you fucking idiot, you fucking idiot, and, um, yeah, it was freezing, I started to get really cold, like, I had, hadn't packed a bunch of stuff for snow, because I thought it was going to be summer, summerish, and, um, who would have thought, like, you know, 5Ks above the, above sea level, it's going to be cold, of course, um, and I'm just going, like I've gone snaking this weird way, trying to like work out where I went. And then on my own little path, my phone is like in one of my footprints, jammed in it. And somehow I found it. It's fucking yes. I'm like trudging down, like sinking, sinking, sinking. It was so fucked. And finally I get back. And just before I got back to the car, I felt so sick. I really, really didn't feel great at all. And I... Um, yeah, hopped, hopped in, was delirious. I was like messaging my girl like, oh, I f really don't feel well. And, um, yeah, just hopped in the car and started driving towards where I was going to go the next day. Uh, where I was going to go the next day was the highest mountain in, uh, <laughs> the highest mountain in Colorado. I think second highest, either highest or second highest in, in, um, in the States. Uh, Mount Elbert, and so I drove, and I ended up driving for fucking way too long again, and then again I slept for fucking five hours, really not enough sleep after those two days, and then I decided I was going to try and get up Elbert, again thinking it was going to be easy, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, um, so I packed all my shit, face fucking blistered as fuck, pretty tired from the last couple of days, and I just started going up this mountain, and fuck me. It's the second highest I've ever gone up. It's only about 100, 150 meters less than uh, Mount Wilhelm, uh, which I did in, uh, that's in PNG. Um, and so I did this thing in six hours. It was brutal. It was so fucking brutal. Like I, th I definitely think it was made more brutal because I was so tired. But um, yeah, I watched a bunch of people not, not be able to get to the top. I uh, could really, really feel altitude. I, uh, Wilhelm, Wilhelm, I did uh, rested, so I think that had something to do with, um, like that that didn't that that, that this one felt different. Um, although again, I did I did this in six hours, which I think is pretty good considering you got to go through snow. Um, but yeah, it was brutal. You had to go like 10, 20 steps at a time, just stop it. <laughs> anyway, by the time I got to the end, I was super fucked. Like, I was like really, really fucking tired. And then, yeah, last night, or yesterday, I don't even know. Just like, shit hit me. Just, um, yeah, just, just tired. Just fucked and tired. Um, and, um, got sick. And I was just filled up with shit, and I couldn't sleep that night either. So, um, so I took a day off going up mountains. <laughs> this was supposed to be my recharge, yet uh, I haven't quite achieved that. I'm overdoing the I'm overdoing the recharge. It's a problem. Uh, I'm an idiot. So uh, I'm just trying to take it easy. I did 10k's today, so it wasn't too crazy. Having this little beverage. And um, hopefully I'll get some good sleep tonight. Um, yeah, that's a little update, a little travel update. 
also, this is, I'm just going to drop this on you guys right now. Um, it's become really evident to me on this trip that I need to write the Gyrus books. Um, I've been going through, because I don't have charge for my laptop, I'm just pen and paper kind of going through the script. And, you know, the script is really refined. You've got to be careful. You have to have an economy of words for a script. It's not really supposed to be over 20,000 words, although, although um, ours is. Um, uh, and so, a Lord of the Rings. Um, but... Yeah, just like going through it and realizing that how much is left unsaid in a film, which is which is usually the case if you take a book and you go to a film, so much is um, so much is not told throughout that film to keep it at the length. Um, and as I'm going through it, I'm kind of writing notes and and realizing how much yeah how much is unsaid. I feel like I have to write the books. So um, yeah, some really cool story elements are coming to life during this trip which is cool um and so it's serving its purpose in that way of, of inspiring some creative so yeah anyway that is gyrus on the road it has been a bit of a disaster <laughs> fucking so many things oh man i almost started a fight at a after that mount albert mission i like i drove to this place because there's supposed to be these hot sulfur springs and i forgot this until i got in there that sulfur smells like shit all right so you're sitting there in these communal pools everyone raves about and like i swear there's like dead skin floating around it smells like shit and i'm sitting in this fucking these pools and just these fucking dudes are just bitching and talking absolute fucking garbage while I'm sitting there trying to relax, soak my poor broken muscles, just like, just fucking catty, just bitching. And I'm like, oh, fuck this. So I went to another pool, right, just as another guy comes in, wearing shorts past his knee, like, like, like fucking to his shins, looking super weird, like, a, like, oh, I was like, this guy's a fucking weirdo. He hops in, he's like looking around for a friend. I'm like, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> and then, and then he goes up to these three guys, these heaps annoying guys, look, and he says, out of, out of complete, like they're talking something, they're bitching about work or something. And then he goes, yeah, but I'll tell you one thing that's true. Everyone in the government is corrupt. And I was like, oh, I'm done. I said it audibly fucking turned around about face and I got the fuck out of this pool and I went and found my own other other pool um yeah anyway just the story there's been more of that I I, I stayed in a hostel for a night you know because I don't, you know I'm trying to I'm not trying to spend you know all of the money in a hostel while I was waiting to get my van and um I just had I just had this bloke this weird bloke as my as my um uh, Rumi from Kentucky, he he could not stop talking. Like, I talk a lot, but this guy, I couldn't, he wouldn't draw a breath. He just fucking yammered on. And I must be an old cunt because everyone's partying in this hostel. I'm trying to get some fucking sleep, and I can't. Anyway, good times. Colorado is fucking sick. It's awesome. I just wish I was here with my family, genuinely. Um, yeah. Miss him a lot. Life's a lot better with family, you know. Unless you got a shit family, then sorry, fucking your fault. <laughs> Love yous.